Okay. And... Hello. What's the what's the Yoda scream? It's in, it's in the other server. If you have Nitro, you should be able to play it. My Nitro literally ran out like a fucking hour ago. Fuck. Uh, I'll look for Damn. it. Damn. I'll find it. I put it in the other server. I haven't put it in here. Why did it not know what to use a Yoda picture for? Oh, there. <laughs> oh. It's a goblin. I don't have a Yoda picture to use. Yeah. There's no Yoda emotes. They need to get on that. Yeah, Hello. Unicode Consortium, if you're listening, Yoda emote. Listen up, Unicode. Get on it. I don't like shopping at your stores, but I use your emojis. <laughs> Well, it is time once again for tapes. Yay! Tonight, tonight oh, we, yeah. we, we run the gamut. We have a bit of early life. We have a bit of maybe not a, life? a little bit of late life. Some some middle life too. All you ages. Life? No, only are full life. Are you talking yes. like, like Cro-Magnon early life or like baby's early life? Like age, like babies. Oh, okay, okay. We have babies early life, then we have something about Radio Shack, and then which is probably yeah. like a bit like early, like what, what part of early life middle. Is that? That's like early oh, middle okay. life. Sure. That's like early middle life. Radio Shack is early middle life, and then, um, <laughs> and then we have uh, Michael Jordan and McDonald's, which is probably like middle life. The specter of death. Yeah. <laughs> And then we have there's this gun safety tape which might be middle to end of life, That's depending end of life. depending on how that you could look be at it. that could be end of life. <laughs> they're trying to they're trying to make it not end of life, but I figured we would start we would start easy, we would start safe, I love we would safe. start by learning how to how to proof our homes. Oh hell yeah! Yay. Thanks to Radio Shack. No, this is not a Radio Shack. Uh, Radio Shack. I love I mean, my sense. friend Wayne Radio Shack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put up a side stream. This is one that seems to skew towards informative, but just has a really good name. They better have a, a TV drop on a mannequin baby, or else I'm leaving. I'm actually not sure. It better drop a CRT down a stairwell onto a baby. Oh yeah. shit! <laughs> oh it's shit! A warning. It's a warning to us somehow. Oh, this one's hissing. This one's from the FBI, so you know it's safe. Oh, oh my god, this is the so. The tones, the tones it's emitting. Important warning. This is so much text. How's a baby supposed Every to read this? <laughs> this is this, this is the Star Wars opening crawl. <laughs> this is actually like a brain scan. Our, our brains are being scanned right now. <laughs> My brain is going to be so safe on the internet. Finally. It's taking pictures of my brain. <laughs> I thought that said booger Wagner. entertainment. <laughs> it could. Honey, have you seen my keys? Lindsay! That was close! Yeah, I. Lindsay, not the light socket! Is and if you got okay? a house like this, I hope yeah, it's she's not safe. okay, but you know, another inch closer. <laughs> and... Honey, we've got to do something. This house is not safe for our baby. I know, but who are we gonna call? I'm praying that your drywall is load bearing. I hope that everything gets safe. You're inviting Mr. Baby Proofer over? I love this song. The lyrics are maybe Mr. Baby Proofer, he'll make your home safe for years. 
I just yeah. realized this is safety uh, for baby and not Dave safety for my robbers. Welcome. Never fucking Thanks. mind. Glad you're here. You know, Lindsay's <laughs> just been getting safety. into everything. Well, I'm here to make your house safer for little Lindsay so she doesn't drive you crazy. Well, I hope the baby's That's safe. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I'm fine. If I need you, I'll give you a call. Okay, we'll get out of your house now. Sounds fine. Don't come back. The best time to baby proof your home was when the baby's between four and seven months of age. You want to do it before the baby starts crawling and walking and getting into everything. Well, this is a good place to start right here. Getting in everything. Baby's Stop getting, getting, getting under the, the carpet. A carpet like this can slip underneath the baby's feet and cause a bad fall. Oh, what you can get do right is into it. Foam grid yeah, padding. don't walk Cut it to right size and wow. place a carpet on top of the foam grid padding. And that'll prevent the carpet from slipping out from underneath baby's feet. Let's check out hey, the I rest of the that. house and see what other potential dangers we can find. <laughs> <laughs> One invaluable baby proofing tool is a portable fence like this. You may use this to prevent the child from getting into the fireplace, getting a hold of the fireplace utensils, or getting splinters from the logs. You may also use a piece of carpet to lay on the fireplace hearth to prevent injury. Either case, the best thing you yeah, want to do is keep the fireplace clean fireplace. and remove all utensils <laughs> and the fireplace hearth. My shoes. And if you don't want your house to blow up, I would strongly recommend removing the <laughs> gas fireplace key. You don't want your house to blow up. Well out of child's reach. Everyone Let's wants that. On. Our gas key is on top of the, the hearth. And tall items or anything crash. that's taller than really it is wider, hard. like this, can be pulled over by a baby when they're learning how to stand up and walk. These type of things should be removed the from the baby's environment. Too much Let's take a look over here. Crash. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, how crazy the babies get! Cords from answering machines or lamps or phones Have like you seen these one? should be bundled up and tied guess, to the back yeah. of the furniture. What I've used here is I use cable ties, and these are what I hold the bolt down everything to the floor. The back of the I, my parents said cords that are extending below baby, that. Very what well I have is a cord casing like hard. this. <laughs> and what this does is this wraps around the cords themselves Felt was and the prevents stone the child from baby. biting into the cord and getting electrocuted. Now, the cords are run across the floor like this. Now that what I have is a I cord cover. Heard. And what yeah, this does is the cord will go inside the cord biting itself, into cords. Lay on the I'm sure it happens. Can casually mention like possibly tripping over the cords themselves. Oh, if you don't want your house to now blow up, you're able to get electrocuted. Like, yeah. I mean, electrocution is a very Real risk. Now, you gotta put those little plastic two I'm not gonna lie, I am laughing. A baby can lick a socket I, I or take a wet hand and put it across a socket or stick a metal object inside the yeah, like socket. Yeah, like an animal. Pretty nasty shock. When the I had fucking doctors, mice, they tried to chew the cords oh, and yeah. they oh, did not end that way. Rodents love them. There's a variety of ones on the market. The thing about children getting electrocuted is they either die or they become electricians. There's no middle ground. Oh, this is a mess. Up. What is this? Gives you easier access. <laughs> oh, so you got this what the fuck? Oh, look at those doors. I love the idea of seeing something like baby proof and being like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah, what's going on? It looks like at the same time. Oh, Shark tank shit. You don't want to use either the sockets or you have a socket that has no plugs, either the top or the bottom. I hated these the covers. I felt like I was going to electrocute myself by digging my fingers in to take them this out. Yeah, I always thought that strap, too. Those ones are not does the ones that I have or in the adult my house, or rather, that my parents have in their house is like round ones. So you like you grab the whole thing. You don't have to like stick your finger into the plug to grab it out. I saw someone in chat saying, like, if Wayne had had those, uh, Josh would still be with us. He would have pulled them out and stuck a fork in anyway. Yeah, that's true. You need to keep your babies away from gas stoves instead. Yeah, that's true. Plants and kids don't mix. Even if the plant is not poisonous, a child can still pull a piece of the leaf off, put it in their mouth and choke on it, or the dirt, the moss, the rock, the fertilizer can create the same problem. So you want to separate the plants food. from the kids all together. Next up, the kitchen. Baby wants food. Checklist. Enter the grid. I get around danger. Areas. I get a video like this just being like incredibly thorough because it's just it's good to be thorough in these cases. But it also makes it sound like this this couple is preparing to have like the son of the mask as a baby. Yeah. Like he's gonna get <laughs> an insane <laughs> amount of trouble. <laughs> he's gonna be eating plants and house. choking on dirt. Biting the gonna gonna latches make on the inside of Turning into a tornado and, and running across the room to create a big mess. Knocking over all your lamps. Mr. Kara, you I'm your son. Oh, my parents had those when I was growing up. Damn, my parents had none of these things. 
This video is for uh, baby proofing your home against the, the baby from the Animaniacs <laughs> specifically. And the second catch piece <laughs> attaches on the inside of the framework. This yeah, is how you keep okay, yourself you really safe from the Roger shot. Rabbit baby. So does that through the chat says, I hate those. I, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, said, I imagine like a baby in the chat be like, how oh, fuck now, these things. Like, like, stop me from getting to the pots and pans. Because if the child I, does get uh, down here, it can create some serious injury. I have now, even never if you have seen on more the than cabinet, half of these, you're still and I'm pretty sure when I was a baby in China, these of a products weren't even the child figures sold. It out, so... Forgets to close the cabinet, I think the, the only one I've seen here, so far, like, extremely dangerous. in real, now, is like the fence thing around the fireplace. Yeah, I've seen that, and I saw the plug covers. Because even a small bit of fluid... Can be I think I've basically only seen the plug covers. Water. Now over here we've got there some no plug covers in China. No, no, no more to keep all these things, things. Off because if they do, uh, nothing. So maybe it was a good thing that I uh, didn't move pick much them up, as a baby. Put them in the <laughs> Now over here is a stove. The stove is definitely one of the more dangerous spots this in is the really, kitchen. This is what really you're gonna do when you're cooking, him going in a kitchen and running through every single thing. This family's like, if at all possible, it's better to have your back a kid. That first. kid is trouble. Now, we saw the kid cooking, for three seconds. A lot of these are good because these are like covers, things you, you might not think about. Like, mm -hmm. if you don't have a kid, yeah. you might not think about like putting the do is put pot handle on, away from the edge because oh my god, even this. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's really intense. Now, the best thing you want to do yeah, how, how tall is your kid? So <laughs> how tall? Yeah, how tall is your kid? He's not getting up there. What if the baby Spider Man's his way up there? Then you need to remove every single switch and button in your kitchen. If your baby Spider Man's up there, you got bigger problems to worry about than your fucking stove. Your baby's gonna rewire your stove. If, if you give birth you to the super baby, you need but to render your kitchen inoperable. Quick. Just take a look at some pressure yeah. gates to keep the baby out. Just, just baby proof everything and move into a, a different house. <laughs> Leave that house for the baby. Here, Leave the baby alone. Do not right. return to the, the baby opening. until it is four. We had, a, the we had a gate exactly like this with the, the wooden braces like that. Releases the pressure, which allows you to remove Get the shit out of that thing. I don't know if yeah. I've ever seen a baby gate here, like this in per No, I have, but it was used for a dog. I had the, I I had the plastic he, one. It sucked. The opening. <laughs> he like, moved it. He moved it off to one side, and it just like fucking tweened away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's one of the features they have. See, look. <laughs> How? What? Lay it down inside. There's, just, there's just like, like a, a gravity a field in that Clearly, corner. clearly you've never bought a baby gate before. Yeah. Now, You're right. Another real good reason for having <laughs> I have the pressure gates. Yeah, they gravitate <laughs> towards babies. Babies can get into the cat food or the dog food, <laughs> put it in their mouth, and potentially choke out. on it. Or fall into the water dish and potentially drown. So you want to try to separate well, the baby from the pet food as Drowning as in well, a half inch of water, the saddest way to die. <laughs> Keep the pet food away from the baby. It might turn into an animal. Yeah, it might like it too much. You may like it. You might like it and not want it. <laughs> yeah. You're not you gonna want a taste. You're not gonna want this baby once you got that dog in him. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. More and more people are working out of home offices today. Oh, what is so that laptop? You're going to want to remember to tie and That's bundle cool. up all of your loose cords and wires from computers and phones and answering machines. That looks you like one of those, like, to kids' a first emergency laptop you used to see in, like, the, the late 90s, but, like, if it was real. In chat, someone says DSXL. Let's go take a look at the bar. Dude, this oh yeah, let's go to the it. bar. He's getting ready to play alcohol Metroid Prime. Be extremely toxic for He's getting ready to play Prime so Pinball. To keep all of your alcohol high, well out of I love average. this. Most people keep like cleaning products and bleach and shit, and, like yeah. plant food, you whatever, under their yeah. same. The this man's keeping system. his alcohol keep under your the <laughs> You're not familiar with the '90s American household. They just had a bar. The top of your VCR. Why are you just what? Why? There's a lot. There's a lot of houses. In America, that have a bar area. Why can't the baby use the VCR? Because they're gonna shove sandwiches in there. I've always assumed that bars and houses was like a thing that they did in cartoons. No, it's just rich people. Okay, that makes sense. Or like, or like the middle class from the nineties. Yeah, like that kind of house definitely had it. Yeah. I've we'll never encountered it. The only time the I've encountered a bar and a house is in the game so facade. Like, <laughs> it might be, it might be another North corners. American thing. I don't know. Okay, Freya. 
You need now, to leave. Another successful thing that I found is we'll no. be fine. Foam just we'll be fine. This down, no. it comes slit down the middle, and it will I'm just like slide over the edge of the page. Oh, typing in the in the, the text another prompts. <laughs> you just have to imagine <laughs> that. Up with could be no. light furniture or wicker furniture like this stand. No. Now wicker and kids yeah. don't mix. If the baby does pull a piece of the wicker off, the baby can put that in their the mouth and choke The fact that they're, them. like, or talking about wicker furniture, light, like, extremely top fucking data in the video. Remember, so no if the baby yanks it, off a piece of the wicker, he will eat it, and he'll get a taste for it. How are you going to do with that pig on the table? You want to take a bite of that glass. You don't want to know about that damn pig. I like how there's, like, a don't let your babies near wicker furniture. Meanwhile, like, my... My family has had like a, a wicker bassinet that they've put all their babies in for like the last two generations. You've gotten a taste for it! Oh no! Like, oh god. The VCR lock is such a strange thing to put in there. Yeah! It, I mean, it makes sense. It's a big hole that kids love to open. Stop them from putting ham in the tape slot. They're gonna, they're gonna, <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> stick their whole head in there and then the, the, it's gonna play them. <laughs> you gotta be careful with the wicker hey, furniture because hey. if your kids get a taste for wood you're gonna need a tango to feed them in the future. <laughs> hey, uh, what, what, hey, what gives? I was told all, all those ads, those those don't make babies cry. That Johnson & Johnson doesn't make babies cry. No tears. When baby reaches five to this seven, is MTV months, Cribs now. You don't want to remove the mobile from the yeah. crib. Or at least get it up. Out MTV of Cribs, but it's not literal cribs. Down, <laughs> the fingers or throat. I think I feel like we missed a Cro Magnon line there. Like he walked up and said, "When baby reaches five or seven months of age, <laughs> you're gonna have to change." Let's move on. Let's move on. When your baby For reaches sake, five I months of age, they begin the, the metamorphosis. Watching this video Here's is just making point. me realize how Kids much shit around furniture. my house is from the and 90s. If they do, the furniture Make sure your baby is constantly them. lit up. What I recommend doing Never is let it go in the dark. Bracket, Things happen there. To the back of the furniture, and then attaching that to the wall. And that'll prevent the if your fountain doesn't the have enough drops of mirror in it, you'll need this nightlight to keep away the miasma. Windows should break. Pieces of the glass can land. You might need to visit your crib. local shaman. Now, windows in the baby's room should be locked. How many smells you got in the house? You'll need some. We're not some. allowed to open up any wider than four inches. Now, there are a variety of window locks that are available on the market, and depending on the type of window you have, will decide. Okay, which these I've seen, you. but not for You're like baby safety, whatever. They just had these on the windows in like every age. room in the halls Let's I continue. was in at uni, and it fucking sucked. And like whenever it was warm, because you yeah, could only open perfect. your window you like. Like two inch. inches. Uni yeah. is the cute cat from Japan that does the three face. Yeah. Remove pictures. I don't know. I don't think you need to secure windows for a baby. That baby doesn't have that much upper arm strength. Yeah. Not yet, but with your help. That's what you think. The music is fun. Very fun music for a your baby might get killed video. your drawers and cabinets. Now even if you have latches on here, you're gonna want to get all of your medications and razors up high out of baby's reach. Preferably putting him in some sort of a lock. Don't give your baby a baby. Don't give your baby any medicine. It has to heal the hard way, otherwise it'll get sick. But your meds in the safe. If see baby in the mirror, hand wash again, it tells me to again. Not enough strength to get back out and potentially drowning. The other reason is to keep a child from putting a toy. Is that a lock on a toilet? See what the fuck is that? I mean, that makes sense. You don't want the baby jumping in and drowning. It makes sense. I don't think I've ever seen one. Oh, I neither have I, but I'm looking at this and thinking, like, I wish I had this for some old cats of mine. Yeah, good for animals. There, there, there was like Let's one time when Lola was like much, much younger where she jumped into the toilet Here's and decided I'm never doing this again. Here I am chilling in the tub, by the way. Look at that fucking love. Oh, I love those. Faucet. Taken yeah, in, in the tub. It's down and out. It's like a faucet will prevent the baby from banging their head into the spout. And not uh, banging the their head into the, the oh my god! On the hot water. And that's <laughs> as, a as if you're leaving you your baby unattended in the bathtub. Like, yeah, that's the that's the thing that I think is like. At, at a certain level, this is like, all right, it's stupid. Really? At yeah, this point. Cover, cover as many bases. This is like worst case it's, scenario. Okay, yeah, but it's like like if you if your if your baby is in the bathtub, you're not going to leave them alone because there's a far greater risk of them like 
Unless you have them strapped in, there's a far greater risk of them like falling over and drowning, not like you know. Yeah, like oh, this that like leaving your baby alone in the bathtub and having to baby proof all the faucets and whatever and like keeping the dog water Plastic bowl away from your baby are mutually exclusive you like uh, you don't need to do both of these all right baby now that you're situated in the bathtub it's time for me to go and unlock the toilet <laughs> get your fucking american psycho like clothes cover for the baby <laughs> tell him about huge huge lewis in the news your kitchen won't have anything to do with your babies if you don't cook and eat baby like food this. with your baby. Hold up, those are the fucking things that make a noise when you flip them to go behind the door. Yeah. You must put up hell, yeah. gates on both top uh, and bottom of fucking the stairway. Fucking why bother them? As well as this staircase is sick. It has it has a haze. Yeah, it's like very yellow. It's ill. <laughs> Banisters that are three and a half this house has sick wide. building syndrome, but like literally. These banisters are the same color as like, like an old rail. Super Nintendo a friend of mine has. They're like fading away. <laughs> <laughs> We're losing them! Quick! <laughs> Don't let your baby you touch them or they'll oh fade no, into the other world! <laughs> this house has the draw. Well, I can't get through. This house has the draw distance turned all the way down. <laughs> it's better for your baby that way. They can't get far if the world's not rendered. you'll need to put in a couple mounts in the opening. First, I put on one mount onto the wall side, which is a three-quarter by three-quarter piece of maple wood. On the banister side, it I has to be maple wood. Electronic cable ties Any other wood, and your baby's dead, motherfucker. To open the Him gate, mentioning maple is like I'm imagining a 1990s soon-to-be dad watching this, and he's like nodded off Slide at this point, but like he awoke to the sound of hearing open, maple. Like, oh, building something? Opening. What? Those are cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, work! I wish I could make this a Minecraft. You can. Why? For animals? No, for the baby. there is for stairways. For your Minecraft baby? Yeah, yeah. For, my Minecraft for, my, for my second floor baby. Okay. I like how he. I like how he used cable ties on the banister side, like so that it wouldn't damage the banister. But the wood on the other side, straight drilled into the wall. That's mm -hmm. fine. We love to have holes in our wall. If you're a homeowner, you can screw well, whatever you want with your wall. Who's a homeowner in 2023? Come oh, on. Oh, this was not man. This was 2023. This was the 90s. This was the 90s. Oh no. <laughs> Baby's <laughs> taking over. Best to make that, your home that looked like a Remember, fucking mannequin! That did not look like a human! <laughs> uh, 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 Accidents can happen. Well. First aid kit. That looks scary I, a little I bit. I swear that was a fucking model! That, that didn't look like scary. a person! The baby has taken <laughs> him. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Body your best to make that your home whole, safer. That whole Remember, thing, the there baby is no and the man is a completely an baby-proof home. <laughs> Look, <laughs> the baby has happen. taken this J.C. Penny representative. Should be in the house at all time, <laughs> and it's a good idea to take first aid and baby CPR classes. Babies are amazing. They'll find a multitude of danger <laughs> spots in your house. So <laughs> <that's> <laughs> the great sentence. Is, is they can weigh between five, five and five hundred pounds. Attended. So Babies are awesome. Kids, Hell is a magnet to them. Of your attention. <laughs> <laughs> they want Babies to die, and amazing. they will die. <laughs> they will find a multitude of danger spots in your house. At that point, just hire the baby. I'm we, liking the song. We what, what we have here is a white hat baby. <laughs> <laughs> I want the Mr. Baby Poofer soundtrack. Yeah, I'm feeling it. Did you, did you imagine if someone had the job of like baby, like baby, baby proof? They have the job of baby. Baby, baby <laughs> kind of testing where someone comes to your house and crawls on all fours and tries to guys to fuck with everything. <laughs> One can hope. Professional, professional baby tester, just crawling around like, oh, you didn't secure the bed, I'm gonna eat it. Oh, I'm choking. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> you didn't attach the furniture with L brackets. Get my, my away from that window. My little bonnet is caught on the door handle. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't move the dog food. Now I only want dog's treat. This is becoming <laughs> eerie. 
I'm imagining, I'm imagining a 40 year old man dressed as a baby pushing a dog away from its dog food so it can eat it. <laughs> Where's the nightlight? <laughs> Forty-year-old 40 man in a baby bonnet, like fucking face down in the dog's water bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Committed. He yeah. knew what he signed up for. You're this was great he, had to sign, he had to sign a safety waiver for this. He died in there. <laughs> died doing what he loved. His his final words on record were, "It's a living." That's a living. Jonathan Booger. Yeah, that's what I thought it said, too! <laughs> it's Booger Entertainment! You'll put your worries to an end. It's Mr. Baby Great Song. Booger. Father. <laughs> Baby. In an alternate reality, this could have been like a big hit, like Kindergarten Cop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the garden oh. of Pentester. <laughs> Baby! Oh, Mr. Baby. Oh, wow, this video is a year older than I am. Too bad my parents couldn't uh, get step this in by time. step through your home. <laughs> points out dangers that could injure your child. To order Mr. Baby Proofer video, please call the number shown on the screen. To order Mr. Wait, Baby. What? what year did it say this came out? 92. 92. Oh, okay, that's why my parents had so much wicker furniture, I guess. That's true. <laughs> I was born in 91. Dude, there was a lot of wicker furniture in the 90s. Improver. There was. There was a lot of wicker non-furniture. Just shit to put things in, yeah. like... Popery bowls? Yeah. I don't know what wicker... What's wicker furniture? It's like... Wicker, you, you, you wicker know those, like... They're like wooden woven baskets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like people figured, hey, why not like just start making chairs and shit out of this? Yeah. And like they did. Sticks, sticks tied together. And Ooh, some most of it are worn through like at this point. Yeah. It's not very hard wearing. Well, now that the house is baby proof, we could go. To, we could leave the baby and go to work at the Radio Shack warehouse. Yeah! Oh boy. I don't want to go to work. Yes, We're you do. We're working. No. Wrong. You do now. You're working nope. at the best place on the planet, Radio's Hack. Welcome to the Four Speed Distribution what? Center. In Fort Why West did they call the distribution, the distribution center, center that? That's scary. Of a That's scary. Of this 900,000 plus square foot building. To We're going to make foie gras. Come on in. <laughs> no. I'm Neil Jones. Oh, what the tape, we're fuck? going to take a look inside the force feed distribution I've seen this man before, but with a different name. <laughs> he looks like he's a U.S. politician! <laughs> yeah. Which guy does he look like? Several of them. This system ensures that your store he looks like Ted Cruz, but he also looks like the Ghostbuster. He also looks like... He, look, he has Mr. Bean, like, all yeah. around. Yeah. yeah. Have them available. I'm gonna check the Zodiac killer. Kind of just everybody. Yeah. Kind of just every every guy you can yeah, think of, really. The mm, yeah. sales for these items. He's got that Lego man Plus, hair. Have you seen this man in your you dreams? Know, items, so they weren't always. In I was I was honestly thinking kind of like the Dream Man. Charles Tandy decided that a system should be developed. Charles Tandy. Charles Tandy. Stock of these low it is. Items. It, it is interesting to look at this knowing that this none sure of this exists anymore. Always available yeah. to customers when they came from the warehouse. Yeah, it's now. pretty much just been replaced in by Amazon at this point. The items were moved from the regional warehouse to a central location in Fort Worth. Nope. This Radio reduced the Shack inventory investment required and eliminated the problem of deciding I, how many I items to send to each region. I some, they, you the can't like upon a model quantity they by four sizes. To a degree, they fucked up. I think I don't. I remember reading an article about how they fucked up, but I can't remember. This has since been changed to a four. They invested in DivX. These orders <laughs> 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 that was Circuit City. That was Circuit City. Was Circuit City. Yeah. Man, I want some yeah. fucking DivX right about now. Mm. Which means some 7,000 plus stores. 
A routine day's business requires a shipment of 140,000 oh, different items. Box the box fell. Totaling That's... some 800,000 pieces. People at Radio at Shack are human, just like you and me. They make mistakes. They get punished for it. During are they just shipping out styrofoam? This goes to oh. 200,000 items. That, that one's yellow, whatever it was. Factory. Oh, that's also cereal. yellow, whatever it is. There are 275 people on I kind of liked her look. Which peaks to 320 during the Christmas season. Every day, the distribution center ships out there some There are generally some pretty good fits in any, like, UPS 90s VHS. It's like, yeah. Yeah. just got regular-ass people in. Uh-huh. Are, mm -hmm. uh -huh. are initially received at Radio Shack headquarters. Bi-monthly inventories are also received at Radio Shack headquarters and after processing generate refills. You may have wondered why your refills didn't ship on the first cycle after you took inventory. Refills? It's oh, so this is probably well, wondering that. Ship on either the first or second cycle. Yeah, I mean, inventory. like, they're force-feeding. They gotta include a drink. And the volume of <laughs> <laughs> I need my on refill. <laughs> Battery from the computer at Radio Shack Battery acid. To a Tandy 4000 at the Force Feed Distribution Center. I'm gonna be force fed by the Tandy 4000? What? You don't want a Tandy meal? Yeah, Fuck you off! You should be honored. The model 4000. Damn, <laughs> the physical location of each stock number in the pulling area. When the day's orders are loaded to the 4000, each stock number on your order is associated when is this with the from if they're like the selling candies. I got the same look time, up. the barcoded shipping labels for the oh, order. Was Radio Shack in the 80s? How did they was know it was the 80s? I want to say this is the 80s. I think this Historical is... Historical data shows that... Yeah, it's probably very the center late weighs 80s. 20 pounds. Actually, no, yeah. maybe it could be earlier 80s. I'm not sure. The, required, the, projected the weight of Tandy 4000 is, is apparently 1987, so, so it's got to be yeah. late 80s the at the earliest. geographical regions to be pulled simultaneously. Orders are started in 10 different parts of the distribution center at the same time. 10 different parts. This is why stores receive boxes that are not completely full. I love the way he says box boxes. boxes across a quarter million square feet. He rolls that B so well. We fill boxes. Boxes. <laughs> it's like a chicken sound. In a predetermined sequence. The puller reads the barcode on the label with a handheld reader, which identifies the store number and order control number. This activates I don't think you need a gun to identify the, the, the number you there. You, you point at the label and go, talk! <laughs> An LED display. Don't make me pull this trigger. The puller pulls that quantity and shuts off the, the light puller. in three seconds. The light under the next item comes on, and the same the procedure the is puller. repeated. This automated system allows your orders to be filled quickly and efficiently. You don't want to know why. Minimum of errors. When the puller pulls the last item in that zone, the LED display says "pass box." The box is then sent to the box. next zone. Pass I box. love to play on my pass the box. Pulled, the display says done. <laughs> if the quantity requested is not available, what's that um, the monthly game service that Xbox has? Pass box? Shipped. Game tab. Pass box. The puller cannot adjust the yeah. Quantity. Game tab the or uh, done, the model 4, 000, Game Spy. Which is all HBO Max. The mainframe computer. <laughs> Clean game the Spy. How else are we going to play Borderlands? Borderlands on like the Red Alert 3. <laughs> the operators are new <laughs> Yo, bro, hop on Games for Windows Live. Yeah, I mean, me on X-Fire. <laughs> We're going to play Street Fighter Cross Tekken. We're going to play Bioshock 2 multiplayer. This is done with the freight station system. Yippee! Here's how it works. The closed box I bored. My internet went out briefly. What did I miss? Oh, oh they, not just box. they just brought up cyborgs. Games for Windows Live. First yeah. Box to one of three levels. Box. Then into one of the 50 Boxes. lanes on that level assigned to assemble that order. When the order Symbol. is assembled, bad order, bad order alert. Bad order alert. Order. Bad order alert. Order to a and <laughs> lots of it. They include a, a special form a truck in any bad order saying, you fucked up, what were you thinking? For a given destination. Yeah. Uh, give us a reason I, to forgive I, you. you. I finally oh, finished watching your shack when under one of my best ties still exists. If the truck wasn't there, I guess they. I guess they sell a smaller range of goods. I mean, Best Buy is also now just Amazon. Like their website just lists like. Best Buy just let other people sell through their website now. Well, I mean, like they, they have physical locations, right? Yeah, they still do. Best Buy is much closer to like a, a department store than it is a strictly electronic store. Yeah, it's true. Because they have like by the nineties and shit. Yeah, because by the nineties you could get like actual electronics at. 
and will be matched Radio with Shack, like for computers and maybe phones the and other just random electronic stuff. But like, you go to Best Buy, you could get like appliances, you can get TVs, you can get like all and basically any kind of vaguely electronic thing. Center tries to ship by truckload. I finally finished watching season two time. of Twin Peaks the other day, However, and we finally got to the episode about raw meat. Raw meat. And plenty of it. They must use LTL or less than truckload. LTL. Oh, we clapped our hands when we got to it. You less than light. <laughs> Sir, you don't have to shout. The shipping cycle would change throughout first to better balance the geographic what? locations to reduce or eliminate LTL shipments. As a final note, there are two things you need to be aware of. First. A couple of months ago, we did a study of the amount of I see folks in chat in saying, store. like, oh, you can buy components online now. It's not the same. It's not, it's not the same. It's not the same. You don't get to touch or smell them. The model stock yeah, like, uh, the smell's the real, average. but, like... It's not the same <laughs> as going in and uh, <laughs> playing with the demo <laughs> Casios that they the have out smell and smell is real. Smell's always real. The smell is real. There's a difference between, like... It's very important to make There's a difference between, oh, stock. let me order these the online to like, hey, let me go to the store that just has them, and I could just pick them up and like carry them home the back. day of. That's why I like yeah. that I live yeah. near, that's why I like but, that I live near a micro center. The last time my monitor for my computer uh, broke, Radio Shack's I had I had a monitor I had a new monitor within like three hours because I lived success. close enough to a micro center that we I could do that. Great. To get one. The system we, we used to have a, a chain over Shack here operates. I guess was similar to Radio Shack called Maplins and, and um, <laughs> like they were kind of overpriced but like if you just kind of wanted like one of something oh. and you wanted to like like kind of gauge the size of it like. It was useful. It was it yeah. was good to be able to physically go somewhere and hold the components in your hands. Like, plus, oh if well. you need something day of, yeah, there's no there's no I substitute. Saying, yeah. I remember mm -hmm. Radio Shack just having like troughs of capacitors. Yeah, <laughs> the slop yeah. heap. Take a bite. You could just get electronics, just raw electronics there, and, and plenty, plenty of, of it. <laughs> plenty of it. <laughs> you crack an LCD screen on it. Plenty Add in it. some salted processors. Well, oh, I I just loaded a shipment from Radio Shack I'm onto my Radio Shack truck, and I'm on the Yay. road. But I need a a cold or hot drink. Wait, cold hot, hot drinks? Hot drinks? Cold Let's or go. Hot drinks. Oh, it's... oh, Delta Pepper. You're no, about to get no, going. Wendy's. Let's fucking go. Did oh, I tell you I, could I use saw some a refreshment? I saw Such a as. Wendy's in the UK a few months back, and I, I I'm still thinking about that. <laughs> Where the it, fuck did they come over here? Well, did it go away? I hope so. She looks a little bit scary. <laughs> Cold drinks is not as good as hot drinks, but it is a little bit of a banger. Oh, I gotta have a biggie. No, I totally forgot about that. Wendy's used to have the biggie size. Like the fucking... It was their equivalent of, like, the McDonald's size. I, I saw the amount of ice that she put in there, and yeah, that's my experience with the one time that I had a drink at a Wendy's. <laughs> It was so much ice. It was Whoa. like filled almost to the fucking plastic. That, that's pretty. That, that's pretty scant for an American drink. You know? Yeah. yeah. It, they exactly. usually fill it to the top. Oh, of ice, damn, dude. They in at least the Wendy's that was by where I lived in college. They had like the the tiny tiny. Who's <laughs> that? She's like, please stop recording me. Yeah. The spirit. A smile better Not suits the, the service worker. It's like those really, really tiny, tiny bits of ice, like the really tiny balls that like, like just fill the cup all the way up. Oh my God! There's no drink in there at that point. Yeah. Yeah, there isn't. It's oh, all about the ice. This is the best thing about like fucking Five Guys or whatever. You get that Coke freestyle. You can. You don't need to put ice in there. You can just not have ice. It's chilled already. Why do you need ice? Die. <laughs> because it lasts <laughs> No, it doesn't. It just melts in there and turns into water slush. It's horrible. Free lemon slice for you though. Don't you want it? I do. Wait. Why did? Well, that they, was cold I'm, drinks. Was that it? 
That's cold drinks. It, but now there's hot drinks that we hot need. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! I fucking love hot drinks. I don't know if I've heard hot drinks. It's I had so my fucking iced good. tea, now I need my hot tea. Yeah! <laughs> Last one was ethereal, this one is more fiery. Mm. <laughs> Great sounds. <laughs> I need a room to go back and fucking grab that for samples <laughs> folder. There's a Super Mario World ROM hack from this year that has a Mario World sound font version of Hot Drinks. Yes, because Hot Drinks has been a fucking meme in the SMW ROM hack community for literally years. It's great. That's how I know about it. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Oh, actually, now that you mention that, either. that does sound familiar. Have a nice day. I've never heard of this one. I like real when ones. No. When think I think of hot drinks, I think of hot Dr. Pepper. Real when, ones. No. When you, World, drink. Uh, when you mentioned Mario World, when you mentioned Mario World, I felt the synapse connect in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm like, okay, I do recognize. This. <laughs> This is one of those videos oh. that I'm imagining. Oh. <laughs> this is one of those videos where I imagine like seeing this video and then cutting like reverse shot to like a group of teenagers just starting yeah. at Wendy's, like sitting in the break room watching this on like a tiny TV, uh -huh. just like looking blankly ahead. I think today, if you ask for a hot drink at Wendy's, they'll kill you. <laughs> yeah. It's like I I don't want to I don't want to be that guy that's like oh when I was a kid, but like Wendy's was different. They like stopped giving a fuck. Yep. Wendy's was like the, my favorite fast food joint fast food joint when I was a kid because it seemed like they actually gave a fuck. The food was good, and now they like they now it's like the worst. It's like worse than like even hey, McDonald's. Yeah. That, that smile right at the end from the worker looked so fucking uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I, love, yeah. I, I love that how I love that how they had is every time the guy talks about the hot drinks, he has to blow on the steam. Yeah. He has to. He does. Hot drinks. It's hot. <laughs> it really gets you going, you know. I love the running theme through like both those Wendy's things of like just shots of like the actual workers like they they're just kind of like oh fuck the camera's looking at me I gotta smile Ugh. yeah and, hey uh, I just realized I've never fucking eaten at Wendy's you're not missing I anything have okay once. I don't know there's, how, there's here. I don't know how widespread here. they would be it feels like a thing that would like it would like start shriveling up and dying if it left the borders <laughs> of the United States. No, there's some there's Let's, some Wendy's here. They're like not they're not that common, but there's some. It would fly to North was, America. That's why I'm surprised, so surprised that there's that there one, is in one in there is one in London near Hampstead Heath, if I remember correctly. Wow. Um, I think that's where I saw it. I was I just mean, like, what the what the. Well, fuck? tell tell you what though, if you want the saltiest fries you ever you'll ever have. <laughs> That does Wendy's, sound good. Wendy's is your girl. The the saltiest fucking the saltiest wettest fries ever. Shoutouts to my sister in chat who keeps fucking yell typing like, "How the fuck have you never eaten Wendy's?" I don't I, have an I, answer to that. I just I, haven't. I have I have like a I have like a strong association with Wendy's of just like doing uh, physics labs and just like wanting. <laughs> Wanting to be any other person in the world at that point, and then eating extremely salty French fries. <laughs> I think I went. I went there a couple of times, but I, I had the baconator. I remember eating that once and being like, "Oh, I don't know if I could ever eat that again." It was really good, but it was so intense. Yeah, I, I think that's the most I intense associate, fast food burger I've ever had. I I associate Wendy's with um, 
when I lived near one back in college was probably like the worst. It, it wasn't strictly because of the Wendy's, but it did happen to coincide with like strictly like the worst mental state I think I've ever been in my life. Oh no! So that's just that's what that's where Wendy's is now. That's that's <laughs> me with fucking Mario Odyssey. <laughs> oh no! That's a that's a sad one. <laughs> I only got I only, I only got I only got good associations with Wendy's when I was a kid because Wendy's. Was well, lucky you. you. <laughs> well, try, try going again as an adult you might feel different <laughs> might feel I'm, I'm afraid to go to Wendy's now actually a lot of the a lot of the Wendy's in Boston closed and became like other restaurants perhaps for the best they couldn't stay open well, they, yeah, all, they all became Dunkin's for your safety, for your safety. they all became Dunkin's they all yeah. became Dunkin I, Donuts I, I, I've also never been to Arby's, but every time I mention Arby's, everyone I'm always with is like, all right, we're literally never taking you to Arby's. I thought about going to an Arby's <laughs> a couple of months ago. I pulled into the lot and I looked at it as like, am I really going to pull into an Arby's? And then I <laughs> got out of there. <laughs> I, I've, I've had Arby's a couple of times. It's fine. Their fries are okay. I don't care. <laughs> Ar Arby's is like, Arby's is one of those weird experiences because there's definitely a lot of people that are like, no, Arby's is great. It's definitely one of those fast food places that like maybe you can go to an Arby's and have a good experience. But if you have a bad experience, you are like walking into a cloud of miasma when they like hand you your food. Like whenever <laughs> you're wh like whenever you're a kid, Arby's is like the most confusing shit in the world. It's like we're, we're getting food from a place and it is this shit. <laughs> I want I want a chicken nugget. This is like a this is like a real sandwich. See, that's how I am with Subway. We're going we're going getting fast food and it's a sandwich. Die. Well, I never. <laughs> well, at home at home I at home I never get long bread. At home I never have long bread with yeah. topping on it. At Arby's I open it up and I look at it. And say, oh, this is like a this is like a sandwich with short bread. It's, and a, it's a cafeteria a meal and like a slice of roast beef on it like damn i could have got this at school you know yeah, what that's, I it's been to? very much cafeteria meal you can just Denny's. buy a long bread Denny's. i've been to denny's, denny's a lot of times. times i went denny's to denny's once the denny's first time i ever went to denny's was, was when i was in texas we i kept fucking joking about whether or not we would go to denny's with my partner when i was visiting her and then she fucking wore me down and now i want to go to denny's denny's <laughs> denny's was <laughs> fine it's been a long time. I missed the group Denny's trip. Yeah, that was that was fun. Denny's was we went to Denny's after Faxmas twenty twenty one and it was the only place that was open late. So we just went that's, there. Which was which was that's good. the point of Denny's. But also it was completely empty except for one group of people that were sitting right beside our table and randomly they just started listening to video game lover out loud on their phone. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> And we and I was like, what, what the fuck? Like what? <laughs> what? Like I just heard from the corner of the room. I heard doop 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 do, do, or whatever the fuck the song is. Video <laughs> game lover. I was like, what the fuck? I just turned away. And I was like, oh, am I the only one freaking out right now? Am I like, <laughs> have I just have, did I pass out at your place and this is a dream? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I had so we are at a crossroads. I could either show I have a like a a KFC food training tape, oh, or please. I also have I also have the the gun safety tape that I was going to show. Uh, so, KFC is too tempting. <laughs> Wait, can you only show one or the other? I can, can for time KFC? reasons I can only show one or the oh, other. Oh. Um, um, so I mean, I, I can KFC's... show both. The gun safety one's twenty-two minutes. The KFC one is eleven minutes. KFC, uh, well, KFC, I have like something to talk about, gun. maybe. But someone started a poll. <laughs> I'd be okay. I'd be okay with either. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling delicious chicken. Yes, yeah, could have some chicken. Like I think, I, but I also want. I think I need to fully vet the gun one. Is like there's nothing bad in it, but I want to. I just scrub through it. I want to fully vet it to make sure there's yeah, like no fair. like like a split second of like a actual gun accident like yeah. picture. So yeah, I don't know. They were only making graphic VHSs about being attacked with swords, so yeah, uh, yeah. the guns yeah. were probably <laughs> safe. So I, I, right. I what I if scrub... the KFC? What if the KFC video has gun accidents in it? 
And what if someone we'll falls into the fryer? Three birds or one stone. All right, yep. let's. It's time for chicken. I'm gonna Yum. say it. Sorry, Chad. I'm gonna. I'm gonna say it. Uh, KFC chicken is not delicious. It's mid. It's yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's it's a... not seasoned enough, and it's kind of oily. When I was a kid, um, when I was chicken a kid, kitchen. they like. Oh, I think I've seen this. When I was a kid, Wendy's was good. I don't think KFC was That's ever good, good throughout my Thanks. entire life. That's good chicken. The, the VHS, so like, the He's VHS picture quality is not doing this man on the yeah. left any favors. It's, it's making him look like he has a pig chicken. nose. Hey. He does you see an NPC interaction in Azuric. Yeah. It was golden brown. You're Just only the way our customers like it. It is yeah. making him look like he has a snout. It, it does chicken. look like someone yeah. edited him to be a fine piggy, sir. <laughs> You've seen the character. I, I, I mean, you can, but. <laughs> I don't fucking can. With the kernels, <laughs> 11 herbs and spices. A brief glimmer of hope you take the same amount because of popcorn care, chicken and then they saw it. Yeah. By following every step, the, the main thing I remember about exactly KFC, about like, you. just in general, they did the double down in, like, the early 2010s, I didn't get to try it, they did it again in, like, the late oh, 2010s, oh, and I tried it, and it yeah. sucked shit. I, I waited six so years. I, I tried it, I remember. To try it. It's been ten years. Well, you can, well here's the thing, it's You had the opportunity to enter another Devil's Deal to get access to, Diab to Diablo 4. <laughs> After the chicken is cooked, I will vent the machine, open the lid. They call it the double the down because you want to put it down twice without picking it back up again. The chicken on the tray. Mm -hmm. Now I will be showing you the utensils we will be using like during the cooking uh, process. This is way more industrial than you would think. Yeah, this is the yeah, that's like a fucking meat slicer in the Whoa. back. Uh oh, okay. Yeah, put that back. Thanks. <laughs> Over here. That was scary. <laughs> is the scraper? Putting the chicken up on the sacrificial hook. <laughs> Put him up. <laughs> and these are the tongs. Okay. Now this is the tumbler. Here's the piece of it. In the middle of the, the tumbler. <laughs> and after the chicken has been loaded and browned. The tumbler Bad and is naughty chicken. The <laughs> they know together. what they've done. Mott's they right, it looks like done. set dressing for a shot on now, video sci-fi movie. A little bit. Yeah. Like this, like this is, a, is an it's supposed to be like a lab. Two pieces of chicken. I, I'd see oh, this boy. in the back of like a droid manufacturing process. plant in Star Wars. Yeah, I envision this as a set <laughs> piece for the upcoming pieces. movie Good Burger 2. Because these pieces are not separated. This Good Burger 2, that's, um, Bad Burger. That's chicken. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're forced, it looks they're like forced to work metal My yummy yum gummy. We my yummy, my yummy chicken. Oh, Are you sure? No <laughs> problems with my chicken. I think every KFC now since then would the like to differ. Chicken meant you, no you, will, you will never go to a fast food place where employees give what's the fuck in KFC. Yes. I don't think there's any oversight. I think they just invent menu items. <laughs> so that it stands straight up. It's yeah, true. Last time I got time KFC, the, the fucking bun on my burger was folded over and burned. I don't know how they managed. The Whatever. There's a KFC close to me. Degrees it's, has been, been it's been there as long the as I've been in America. Up. And now, every the time goes I out, drive past it, it's like chicken very to load. sad and no so one's there. To start not the even the employees. Now. Are you sure it's not just closed? <laughs> No, because the lights are on. Yeah, KFCs yeah, are like that. It yes. looks empty. It looks <laughs> empty until you like. Make sure there are no other. Until you rustle right. the nest. This will prevent any of the flour <laughs> from the breaded chicken contaminating the tray that is going to receive the cooked chicken. The heat light. Walking into a KFC, KFC like wow, it sounds like you really stirred up the hive. Three hundred and seventy-five degrees. <laughs> There's a very important yeah, like I don't know. You pull up, you pull Never up to the drive-through menu, and it's like. If you want, if you walk into a KFC, there's no floor, you have to like rattle some chains. 
Let's begin you, to you walk the into chicken. the restaurant, the drifter's behind I'll the counter the flipping his damn flour. coin. Oh Each god, that chicken. <laughs> what the That's fuck? not chicken! <laughs> what the hell is that? Those are ghosts! We have our paint on the field. Wall paint. We have our I snow here, like, just ready to go. To yeah, this dredge just looks like pain. <laughs> this is called we've, been, we've been working on this the for a while. This is called Cog's Fluid. Is to the <laughs> <laughs> give the legs a better finished appearance. Wash the paint off. I then spin the legs as I release them. No, I spin the remaining pieces. Whoa. I pick up two That's pieces at a time. You just show it off now. And shake off the excess flour. This man doesn't even need the top flour. Notice how close the pieces are to the surface of the shortening before I release them. What? Why do you need this to This is to spin reduce it? splash. That just sounds excessive. They cook it in shortening. You'll also notice, I load the basket, working from the they back of the cooker still, don't still towards use shortening, the front. Right? No, no, no. This is to spread the pieces out in the basket. Is probably too expensive. They probably use the cheapest. Yeah. They probably the import in the gutter oil from China. So that each piece of chicken comes in contact with the hot shortening. Could be real. This will allow each piece of chicken to brown properly Boiling while over. it's cooking. I just want chicken now. Where do they go? Into they the boiler. No, now that no the problems with my cooking, chicken. I'm going to return the my chicken yummy to the yum gummy and wash my hands. My yummy, okay. my yummy chicken. Oh, I just realized they like do that shit without gloves on. Yeah, that's that that is not proper. That's insane. To help us do this, we use this color guide. So the finished product <laughs> looks like this. Wow. One, one of them, one of them, one of them good ones. Is super bad. <laughs> so just watch out. Color. I do this. By lifting the basket, this guy must be an android. He's like sticking his hands like Just inches away from like yeah, bubbling oil and is not reacting. See that it has not yet been to the that oil color. is alive and it's this going to attack him. require more time to brown properly. Visual inspection is important because we cannot time the browning process. The browning time will vary due to the condition of it the short brown. Year, the accuracy of the it cooking temperature, brown. and the weight brown. of the breaded chicken. Remember, the only way to know for sure if browning has been completed is to okay, visually inspect the chicken. chicken is this so when you're learning how to process, cook chicken, no they don't use the color guide and check the chicken closely. You cannot be. You cannot ask a minimum wage employee Let's take to another do this look at the chicken, chicken, especially if they're young. This chicken is now browned to the correct color. It is so the browning process is now in. complete. <laughs> the next five steps have to be performed quickly. First, I remove the tumbler. Using a cloth, place both hands on top of the tumbler and what? get a hard, straight, upward tug and then pull the tumbler oh straight up <laughs> oh to completely tumble the chicken. It's free, it's, it's tumbling! Not to push down on the tumbler as you the jerk that tear meat. the skin and damage the pieces in the basket. Born under chicken. Using the hook, I then shake I'm the so basket. Thin. To redistribute the pieces. You keep putting it back in there, it's ready. Spots. Take it out. Make Looks sure are delicious. That all the pieces are below the earth. <laughs> now I can close the lid. He is jerking and shaking his meat. Yum! The cooking time Yum. is eight minutes. So I immediately set the timer to the I'm eight minute mark. Man. <laughs> this chicken is now being pressure cooked for eight minutes. When the cooking cycle the is complete, the pressure is going to cause her to collapse. Automatically vent oh, no. to release the pressure. She can't handle it. I'm going to place the cooked chicken on this tray. Okay. You Whoa, what the fuck? Stay safe, what the shit? Venting. Oh shit, the when it go in sizzling. Back on to indicate that the no, is being reheated for the machinery next malfunction, get out! Over here on get out, the stop oh. presenting! We can see the vent <laughs> it's gonna blow. The, it. the vent line is straight up, I the next step is to cover yourself in oil. <laughs> <laughs> Here's one quick easy way to do it. You see those other two vats hop into one of them to protect yourself. Until the you know, it's, a star, you think about it, it's kind of shocking that, so, that there are so few games that are like scary the games about fast food establishments. There, there's that one with like the demon cow. Yeah. Yeah. I was literally I thinking that like just star. now. Like there was like a, a Five Nights at Freddy's switch that got tripped in my brain. Watch out! Fucking jump scare. Yeah, this this is just 11 minutes at Freddy's. Now I can safely open the lid. Oh, 
Oh my god, that fucking jerk. Position and remove the chicken from the shortening. This is so, in, so intense. On the liner for five yeah, seconds. just getting shit everywhere. To empty the basket, use a cloth. It's to hold brown, the whatever. I've and done this joke like three times already. <laughs> if you stew then brown. empty the chicken out onto if the tray. Stew brown. Oh. Then place the basket back into the cooker. Now, during the cooking process, moisture collects on the lid. Wipe this moisture so that it does not go back into the shortening. Water breaks down short. Now I'll use a scraper to remove the crust ring from inside the liner. Crust rings. It's you know they don't do any I fly through those. It's, it's okay that the crust ring goes back into the They do not wipe down the lid. They do not scrape off the, the crust ring. This will avoid the crust ring. That shit goes right back into your chicken. I need to go inside the KFC and ask if they scrape off the crust ring. I I imagine the cooking process is probably completely different now because they they almost certainly do not use shortening steps. Be careful not to damage the skin. This is like this is like one of those like um Korean street food videos, but like way less appetizing, and they won't have the splash at the end. Yeah, I mean like in the Korean street food, they have you know like a vat that they fill with oil, and it's just oil, and they dip the chicken in, and it's normal. There's no yeah. shortening. There's no crust ring. There's no pressure cook. There's no like fucking set of cow tools that you have to use to manipulate the chicken. Oh fuck! It's getting uncooked. Those are all mine. <laughs> yeah. They're still kicking. Nice. This is the uh, '90s ASMR. Damn, now I want some chicken. <laughs> it's working on Valp. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they include this uncut? <laughs> you need to see. You need to know. <laughs> Let's compare it to our color guy. Our cooked chicken is the same color as the finished product on the color guy. Sure is something. That's great. Okay. Now the chicken can be taken to the warming cabinet take your where it will be stored. The fucking color chart, like, it just makes me think of the fucking piss color charts Thank that they used to have in the fucking bathrooms well, that, like, work. That's how you cook Kentucky Fried Chicken. teaching assistant. <laughs> now let's take a moment to review the critical standards for the cooking procedure. The chicken Move must be cooked. Ah. Oh, what is this? So cool. At the proper cooking temperature. Now he's going in the pressure cooker. Degrees. Make sure there are no other trays oh. on the cooking table when loading breaded chicken. Sear the skin on the I leg. I keep thinking you said breaded chicken. Hold <laughs> the chicken one he piece be. in each hand. Not yet. Distribute the pieces evenly in the basket. Brown the chicken to the color indicated <laughs> on the color guide. He's doing that. Pull straight up to remove oh. the tumbler. Do not push down. The cooking this does time not match our color chart. It needs more time. Is yeah. Eight minutes. Can we, we green the chicken? chicken? There we go. Oh, beautiful. White yeah, Gatorade, Gatorade chicken. If the chicken turns green, the cooked chicken we leave the establishment really immediately. <laughs> if the chicken is green, <laughs> leave the scene. <laughs> I can't play the kitchen the nightmare sound because we don't have enough boosts in the server web. Oh, fuck. Of the short thing before Blue releasing chicken to carefully. Reduce I think it's in the other server. Ensure the lid is properly closed. I don't have nitro. And and I never will. I am Meaning. not paying <laughs> for this. <laughs> oh. Oh. Holy this scary. shit. Maintain don't let your baby near this one. <laughs> to avoid yeah, where's the fire. where's Mr. Baby Proofer? Use a dry cloth when handling Gone. the lid. Whoa. Whoa. They proved his last basket. baby. You know? As a cook, Fucking you have one toxic of the most important jobs chicken. in the Kentucky Fried Chicken store. Our business depends on the quality of chicken you produce. By following the procedure exactly as I have demonstrated it for you in this day, every time you just, his you nose just looks like weirder and weirder. Do the heart attack <laughs> yeah. every time? Yeah, yeah. It's like his nostrils are growing. To demonstrate this <laughs> procedure for you, the smell of the and chicken. Then you'll have an opportunity That's how he checks it. it. <laughs> That's a morose title card. Very. Very just morose mm. tape in general. It's, yeah, very, uh... Well... This also... Also, I gotta say, of all the things that, like, 
I'd trust to a VHS tape to show versus having like someone show me how to do it in person. I would much rather have a real person show me how to use like a deep fryer and pressure cooker yeah. like that. I would not trust someone on a VHS tape to <laughs> I love, well, effectively so inform me. Oh, so you don't know don't how many... anything from that video that was all awful advice. <laughs> all you don't know. You don't. You don't realize that was take twenty-two. <laughs> yeah. the, the first twenty-one didn't survive. Um. Well, that was. The misery of chicken. That that one they didn't have a they didn't have a creative director for that videotape, but McDonald's saw that tape and they were like, "We're gonna one up them. We're gonna hire. <laughs> we're gonna get. We're gonna get Michael Jordan to help us with our oh, employee boy. training tape." The I think the gun safety tape chicken. would have been less morose than that one. <laughs> the the melancholy of Colonel Sanders. Whoa. Oh, fuck. I've got something very new and special hey, that man. I'd really like for you to see. Man, this is like... It's a video <laughs> about he... satisfying the customer called Doing Whatever It Takes. Oh, no. This is like peak Michael Jordan. What does Michael, Michael Jordan, Jordan know about best. satisfying the customer? Well, let me tell you. When I step onto the basketball court, those 18,000 screaming people aren't just fans. When I step onto the basketball court, it's just, just like when you are uh, like someone, you're someone, the they're I've fucking uh, nasty, ass, nasty, nasty ass, nasty ass sandwich. Passes, long three pointers. A great slam dunk. Really, there's not so it's much difference between you working at McDonald's it. and me yeah, working at Chicago Bulls. Yeah, there's, not, there's no service. difference between you they working minimum wage at McDonald's and me and if you uh, had being the, the best days, basketball player in the world. Do whatever it takes to satisfy your customers. He's just gloating. The video you're you about to see will show you the difference between good service and great personalized service we all must whenever a kid walks up we'll we asking for an ice cream do it like my videos actually <laughs> made so let's see what it means to satisfy your customers by do whatever it takes whatever it takes oh, do anything at all <laughs> hey, yeah, can you imagine Richard walking into a mcdonald's good. and there's like a Slightly. fucking dolly in the hey, middle of the place like oh shit dolly and I want to chat said, yeah, don't Thank you want to be the again. Michael Jordan of Burger? Hi, this how is can field. I help you? Whoa, cut. Hold it. Excuse me. Jim. Come on, that's the wrong line. Help me out here. You're supposed to say, hello, welcome to McDonald's. May I take your order, please? That's the way you always say it. Oh, Dave, sorry, but that's my fault. Well, I was talking to Jim a little bit earlier, and he said that he was feeling really stiff having to say, welcome to McDonald's, welcome to McDonald's, over and over again. So I told him what we tell our people all the time. Uh, say what feels natural, but say it with a warm, sincere smile. What's up, oh, bitch? Welcome to Mackie D's. What's good, homeboy? <laughs> you are. <laughs> What's good, homeboy? Oh, uh, what's this? Is that so much fun? Say, everybody, uh, take a quick break, okay? <laughs> oh, well, I know we have yeah? operations. Just get on all fours on the well, counter and like start yelling at them. He tells us how to do Howling. things the right way at McDonald's. <laughs> but I used to insist that all of my team do everything strictly by the book. I mean, everything from the way they greeted the customer to how they took the order and so on. Well, I started to notice that everybody seemed a little stiff. This I mean, isn't McDonald's. Really this is cool the McDonald's. They were serving the customers. And the customers weren't uh, particularly responsive either. Hmm. So I decided that I really needed to call a meeting. I needed to she, talk about she, this. This is like a right fucking close but no team. cigar yeah, moment. Yeah, we we realized the customers don't agreed. fucking care. We just didn't feel natural. <laughs> yeah. But instead of just telling the, the, the fucking service workers, like, we like you don't have to say hello and all that shit to them. We said, like, you have to say it, but you don't have to say it in the exact words. Like, and the customers, they really enjoy being treated like individuals, too. You know, they really and sense. want to know Looks why like we it. love well, Dunkin' Donuts so much? Sometimes need when to ad lib a line at or two, every, it makes their performances more at natural. Every, but 
I just like, don't want to violate job I had, operating like, procedures. When I wasn't no, self-employed, no, 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 I would go to Dunkin. I would go to the closest Dunkin Donuts between where I would get off at the train station, like whatever train station I had to go to for work. I would, you know, I would go to the closest Dunkin Donuts between the train station and my job. And at every one of those Dunkin Donuts, every single one of them, after a month of going to that Dunkin Donuts. Places, I would everyone. walk in, they would hand me my coffee, Take two. I would give them the okay, money, everybody. and not a single word was exchanged. Dolly? Like, they would just and learn, action. and they would recognize <laughs> me. Again. Hi, how you doing? May I take your order? That's why we yes. love Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, no, no human interaction. Uh, <laughs> the American French dream. fries and a uh, small coke, please. Will that be a large fry, sir? Yes, please. Yeah. For here? Yeah. Yes, for here. All right, your total comes to three nineteen. I'll be right back with the order. Thank you. Do they still do the and apple pies cut. at fucking right. McDonald's? I just seen a dedicated yeah. machine behind the counter for it. <laughs> well, it it still seems a little. I don't think the machine is in view um, now. No, I like but... the opening, and then it starts to get a little. Whenever I see mm. McDonald's, uh, whenever I like look yeah, behind the counter at McDonald's, there's like more next to nothing more visible more except more. for like a container yeah, filled with M&Ms. Oh, okay, okay. What? Mr. Customer. There, there's just like a there's just like a little thing sticking and out of the action. wall that has M&Ms in it. I don't know the huh. Oh, like they use for like the, the ice Hi. cream. What can thing? I get for you today? Well, Mr. Yeah, customer, can you be a dickhead this French time? fries and a small coke and nothing else, okay? Well, will that be for here to What's go? your problem? Oh, no. What's wrong with like two when number nines, a number like nine that, lodge, we, we really number gotta six handle him with, dip. with kid gloves. Yeah. Two number like sevens, forty five. Oh, <laughs> fuck. I fucked like the daughter of a bitch. Now, the next time this guy comes in, he could be one of your nicest customers. This framing is so right weird. Today, what a right. antithetical way to just show Let's general customer again. service stuff. Yeah, it's weird that they're doing it as a. Think of every interaction with the customer you have as if a camera's looking at you. You're on the big cream, baby. Maybe. Uh, what can I do? All right, be a dickhead yeah, again. I'd like a fillet of fish, a small coke, and a fry, and nothing. This man ordered okay. a fillet of fish. He doesn't deserve any fucking respect. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't hear you. Is that for here? Yeah, it's for here. All right, your total comes to two seventy-eight. I'll be right back with the order. Two seventy-eight. Oh. Yeah. Well, what did you think? Man. That's a lot better. Yeah. You know, sometimes it takes that little bit extra to avoid confrontation. Of a this right, oh boy, does it ever! <laughs> but it's worth it. Okay, let's set up for the next scene. <laughs> now, the action here is. I Jim, love that sound. You're taking this lady's order. All right, here's the scene and where the snake man comes in. You're <laughs> Jim, and it's just the way I want it to sound. Like you're, you're almost reluctant to ask. Okay. All right, background people, keep that energy up. Roll tape. Reluctant to ask is how someone should be ordering a fillet of fish. It's not so much that Take we're one. in a recession, it's more inflation. Who has a burger? A Hello? burger hasn't would you cost like it today? anywhere. Well, I'd like a medium coke and a big for here, please. Okay. Would you like a medium fry with that? No, I mean, not really. I think it's a combination of things. It could be summed up by everything. It's a tomato on that Big Mac, is it? Yes, ma'am, it certainly is possible. It'll take just a moment, is that okay? <laughs> Can of I get course. a sliced tomato on that bad boy? I've got your coke. Thanks. We'll get your coke now. You Doesn't can find a seat and we'll bring your Big Mac out Although, to you. Thank you. As someone and who used to work cut. at a restaurant, customer service wise, any time a customer sure. was like, hey, can I, I have this order? Scene, Would it be possible sure to have this and it's a thing that, that already movie? comes on it? I'm like, well, yes, Dave, absolutely. We can do that for you. Well, you we can know, do that just for you. For you, my friend, anything. For you, my friend, anything. That's what we mean. Can I get tomatoes on that? Of we course we can get tomatoes to on that for thinking, you. Hey, I would be happy to give you way. tomatoes. That's great. Well, <laughs> just because really? you're the one millionth customer and all. I mean, you've got to remember all of your lines <laughs> and remember you know, your actions you know, and still you know, smile. You hear the news? The Raiders <laughs> just went From extinct, what you told me, but you know, we've got some in the back. I mean, we're both performers. We got a few saved up for a special yeah. occasion, special customer. An and we both need to smile. <laughs> <laughs> now, the only difference is my Break the fourth audience wall. Break the fourth wall. Do it, do it, do it. And the director. And if I don't get my lines exactly right, I can do them over and over until the director yells, cut. That's a keeper. And then I feel as if I've done a good performance. But you, 
Yeah, that's how film works. They just let you do as many takes as you want and waste as much pe of wow. people's time. I guess yeah. I never thought about it like that, but, they love but you're it. right. They love I mean, I've got to do all those things right the first time. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it's a great feeling when customers look pleased and say thank you. I figure <laughs> if they smile at me and thank me, I've done a great job. And even if they don't, I know I gave it my best. Exactly. <laughs> okay, places, everyone. We're going to rehearse the lobby scene. Great, thanks. Okay, okay, there's a Gene, lobby. The I want you to what it set your tray down and take a seat. <laughs> you don't know the <laughs> lobby. Just yeah. as she sits down, Lou, you show up at the grill, all right? Okay. Uh, then while you're talking, this is this such a confusing table, way to right. present like employee training. Yeah. I feel like I would have already and lost any and, uh, sort of context this watching this. Right. Right. Such a then bizarre framing device. And uh, clean off yeah, the table. Get the tray, right? right. like, what are you right. trying to impress? Okay. That like everybody else just. Uh, Act natural, eating, talking with each other, <laughs> okay. having a good time. Okay, let's run through it one time, time for the McDonald's. camera. Think of everything as if it's a okay. McDonald's commercial being filmed right now. And action! Ma'am, here's your Egg McMuffin without cheese. Well, that was fast. Thank you. No problem. I gotta admit, I kind of miss when uh, McDonald's looked like this. And like, they've made them all look kind of okay, looks real like good. shiny Did now, and it's like, that's, that's yeah, not what the food is. The food's not shiny food. I read something that about, really like, the reason why they all fucking speak up. That's what you're here for. Okay, now, when Lou comes in with the grill order, the guy sitting at the next table should remain seated Here's your egg McMuffin and they without wanted to cheese. Look cool. Well, that was fast. But now, no problem. like, fast food no, sir, in general is, like, not doing yeah, sure. so hot. Hey, was everything like, okay with your big breakfast this morning? Yes, yes, it was. Kind of Have like a great morning. You too, thank you. Is because, uh... If it nice doesn't, if they don't, if Lisa. that like location <laughs> doesn't succeed, it like won't hurt, hurt but, uh, the resale value uh, of the, the way it really happens. Oh, that's <laughs> interesting. <laughs> like, all right, all right, not um, often enough. But like, that is like, what we want Pizza Hut location from this video, video right? That didn't they do need well to shut down. Out, it was actually they can really hard to sell the building because it looked like a we Pizza Hut. We need to use our heads. How to hut? Do whatever it takes. Exactly. For the roof. We need to. This thing has a hut. Is at McDonald's. Like they're our own personal guests, and treat them that way too. Yeah, it's pretty funny you when you see buildings that are like very obviously like yeah, this used to be a McDonald's or a pizza yeah. or whatever. It's got the about? it's got the, the roof. Well, like, the yeah, like they, they don't do that so now fast. because the grill team like, okay, had to do the service. If, oh, the grill team is everything. They can just sell the building and like another rest, like a real restaurant could move in. Oh, what is that? I mean, I'm talking about the interior design. You know, like the kind of sort like everyone. A really funny example of that is uh, in and out it's over here. And I think in and out elsewhere in the country are like this, but like over here, like 80% of buildings that are like built as in and out have the exact same interior layout. Like Hi, doors on two day? sides, okay. which has You're the bathroom on this side five. and the counters over this way. So like you can, you go. I, I think there's I'm maybe not. been one time when I've been like in a building that was in the skeleton of an in and out and it's like, oh shit. <laughs> I walk I into feel it. I walk into a hut time. and I order a pepperoni Come pizza and, and the salad bar shaped man at the, at the at the counter says, "I don't know what you're talking I'll about." <laughs> Here. I like that, like, they're trying to create the illusion of this being filmed by adding like a fake field over it, but the fake field is like entirely wrong so we'll, we'll framing yeah, yeah. like they didn't they didn't film it wider to make the framing effect look more real like the right thing to do oh no it was great really are you sure uh -huh. you know well that's what we we're always trying to get our people to do think on your feet oh, yeah. i liked it this it was great yeah, thanks mcdonald's is all about solving problems Okay, everybody, this is the final is scene, that, and let's make it. Was that drive through on just like an elevated surface scene. with no rail? Everybody know their yes. business? Yep. Yep. That's okay. Insane places, to everyone. Me. Roll tape. If they opened a McDonald's Slayton. like that with a drive through like that, there would be an F 150 like hanging and off that action. curb like three hours after they opened. Well, hi there. What can I get this hungry troop today? Clean my room so I get happy. That's right. And I get one too. Oh, yes, good for you. you. <laughs> um, a hamburger and milk here. And a cheeseburger half well, and milk. Well, this shot like a Jennifer. prank show. Uh, and I'll <laughs> have a six-piece McNugget with uh, sweet and sour sauce and a small Diet Coke for here. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing this whole like filming thing, but the filming also just looks wrong. Your total wrong. will be six sixty-eight. 
They're not filming this like they would film a commercial, so why not? It's bizarre. <laughs> Six sixty-eight out of seven. <laughs> Kids can be on counters. Kids can be on counters. Oh, puppy meal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think Jennifer is hungry. That's right. I'll get the cups. What are, what are they trying to? What are? Man, would you like a high chair? What are they trying to convey? Uh, a would be great. Thank you very great much. Great question. Jennifer. And you got that grill on Great customer service. <laughs> well, now, Jennifer, you come back and see us real soon. And uh, I don't know your name. Do they have crusts at McDonald's yeah. on anything? Enjoy your lunch, Thanks so much. I'll carry mm -hmm. that trophy, man. Oh, thank um, you very much. The uh, McNugget. The pies. The patty. Can I, can I get my Big Mac with a crust, please? Who the fuck the is this? Servicing? That's Ed! You don't know service. Ed? But Ed remember throughout Renzi, the video, there was always a way Ed to Renzi. improve the script. To add lib something Rune. that turned the expected <laughs> McDonald's service into complete customer satisfaction. Those are the destiny triangles. And I know you can do <laughs> it. It's the, the final shape. It's the final shape. The final shape. The final shape. We're uh, so glad that they showed that the fucking time. trailer at PlayStation. And now people that don't care about destiny can know how fucking funny the final shape is. The smiles, the friendly, treat them as guest gestures. Let our Honestly, guests know who's, we're who's, not who told them that that was a good idea. A smile. <laughs> our goal is to they called it the hey, final these shape. These McDonald's people so really funny. care about me. And you know what? We really do. Who was gasping them up? Why is he yelling? Time. These McDonald's people really care about me. A bit more time. <laughs> when you notice a guest not getting that great McDonald's service, whether it's a quality problem, an error with their order, or they just need a ketchup packet, help them quickly. In doing quickly. so, and earning those smiles and thank yous. This person has never worked business, a day of customer service. We can make earn those smiles. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Now let's take another look at that last scene. Even though it may have been good this service, dude, there are his body language is threatening and aggressive to me. That's just yeah. company. Look that's just company president body you language. Would improve that's our yeah. Yeah. That's CEO body language. Can. Yeah. Remember when it comes to customer satisfaction. I mean, it's, it's not unlike okay you know what it reminds me of just body language wise. It reminds it me of Reggie Fils. Yeah. A little bit. Oh. Reggie. Well, let's take Reggie puts me less on edge. They gotta have the fingertips. Connected. Right. Everyone chat, discuss. <laughs> discuss. Um, discuss. discuss. What did they do wrong? And a discuss. Decide. Decide. And I'll have a six piece McNugget with sour sauce and a small diet coke for here. I got it. This called this, this, the fact that this all started with Michael Jordan is like even more. Bizarre. Yeah, and he's not. He's gone. He's split. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He sat down. He, he recorded for a minute, then split. And they gave him like probably wow. like three hundred dollars. Wow, that was a great McDonald's, wasn't it? Yeah, he might, yeah, he might hear the ends of the tape like that. Wow. I, I hope he, I have to really go for a big map right now. Yeah. Oh, I think Jennifer is hungry. That's right. I'll get the cups for the milk. Thanks. We're in a loop. Would you like a high chair or a booster seat with that? Uh, a booster seat would be great. Thank you very much. A booster seat, huh, dog? There you go. I don't remember any time when McDonald's had, like, workers walking around the store like wait staff. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Ready, This is the, the fucking McDonald's Endless A arc. Kids can be on the counter, oh, it's fine. Okay. He's just sitting there. It's not like you're gonna eat off the front desk. Oh, well, that's, this yeah, is it's not the first like time I've seen that. forks in sockets kind, and biting cables. Take a bite. <laughs> Please, I'm gonna rewind the tape right now. Yay! Don't forget. No, no water got in the shortening or anything. Like, what's the big deal? <laughs> I'm I'm really sad Michael Jordan didn't come back at the end to say three words. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm Michael Jordan. Great. Make those wow. burgers. That customer service, amazing. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops. <laughs> <laughs> you Make guys sure are to... making. You guys are making smiles the way I'm making baskets. <laughs> Make sure to get some McDonald's coming out June second. Keep, keep earning those <laughs> smiles, like <laughs> keep earning smiles. I'll keep earning millions. How, how far we've come? <laughs> now, now we got Spider-Man, Whopper, and uh, <laughs> and like what? Fortnite meal. 
Who who was the who just got a meal? It was like two Fortnite. people. I mean, I got a meal. Fortnite today. got a meal. Who got a meal? Uh, I mean, is there, is there actually a Fortnite meal? I can believe that. No, I'm I haven't sure. been to a McDonald's in like Travis several Scott? years. No, it was I, like Travis Scott, Scott BTS. It was like Ellie and, Joel, Ellie and Joel got a meal. The Joel and Ellie meal. <laughs> the Joel and Ellie <laughs> meal. No, oh, that must be what I'm thinking of. The Joel and Ellie. It's just the Joel meal. and Ellie meal from uh, from Golden Car Corral. Cardi B and Offset. Yes, they had a meal. It was like a Cardi B and Offset meal. They got the, uh, the yeah the pig meal. I saw an ad for it, <laughs> but I couldn't like remember who it was. Well, that was that was the final tape. I I thought I thought. Michael Jordan was gonna come back at the end there for a, a big a big bang of an ending, but he kind of just he slipped out during the Destiny yeah, Two, the final tape. The final tape. Uh, I'll keep I'll keep that gun safety tape uh, for next time. I'm gonna actually want to make sure because so I, I scrubbed through it and then someone mentioned, "Are you sure there's like not like a picture?" And I'm like, "Well, oh, shit, I didn't look for like <laughs> pictures. Yeah. I was looking at the scene, so we'll make sure for next time. Uh, maybe next time I'll also." Get a few other. Uh, maybe next time will be more of a violence, a, a, a more fury. <laughs> of violence, but maybe darker, dark, dark VHS viewings. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, a so summer, that's the tapes. A summer blockbuster thrill ride of a VHS viewing. <laughs> end of end end of June sinister tapes. Yeah. So we got all the happy all the happy tapes. Out of the way. We had today. our happy meal. We, got we had happy hot. Tapes. We had cold and hot drinks. I didn't know. We're hot so drinks happy was a the thing. baby is safe. I had no idea hot people knew about the hot drinks video. Oh, hot drinks is fucking huge. I mostly, <laughs> I mostly just hear about hot drinks through Holly. <laughs> I've never, I've never gotten to see the video. So, Absolutely. like, I, I knew that, I knew that, I knew there had to be a song out there, but I'd never gotten to see it before. The lyr the lyrics are oh, genius. <laughs> They've been going around the internet for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> the lyrics are on Genius, and there's one line, there's one lyric, Wendy's coffee tastes so fine, and it's highlighted, and the annotation is, I'm sure it does. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the only annotation on the lyrics. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, never mind. There's also an annotation over H two O, and it just says water. <laughs> nice. It has a negative wow. four votes. <laughs> That's People why hated it's cold. that. That's why it's called <laughs> genius. And then they left the comment on it saying, "Why are you downvoting me?" That's literally what H two O is. <laughs> <laughs> you spoiled it. <laughs> take it. Take it to rap genius. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get my own cold and hot drinks. I've been inspired after that, and yeah, and some chicken. I would I would like some. Chi Actually, there is a KFC that opened. Uh oh. So and I haven't had KFC in like a decade. So maybe maybe I'll I'll have my VHS viewings meal. Maybe I'll, I'm gonna go get the Joel and Ellie. Meal. I can't imagine what it would be like over there. Like it's already like, like KFC over here is already like Canadian Taco Bell. So I, I can't imagine what Canadian KFC is like. My skid mark taco, my tar stain taco. <laughs> the whole blast. I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see my my KFC or PFK is what it's called here. Yes. PFK. My PFK. My I think PFK. I think it might I think it might still be open, so I'm gonna I'm gonna run in my jammies <laughs> and sprint sprint to the PFK and ask for the for extra extra ring crust. <laughs> extra crust ring in my chicken. Get on all fours and demand the Michael Jordan meal. A cup yeah. of a cup of the shortening. <laughs> Am I earning smiles? Get, get a famous bowl if they have famous bowls. What's so famous about it? Is that it? an actual thing? Yeah, yeah, famous bowls are a KFC thing. It's like mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, cheese, popcorn, chicken, that all in a funny. all in a is there, container. Is there, is there bowl. It's, it's cheese just like it's like cheese whiz, like melted cheese. It's, it's like melted cheese shredded whiz. cheese. Oh. It's not cheese whiz, but it is like cheddar cheese. Oh, I know what that is. I know about that because one of my friends calls it the sadness bowl all the time. 
Yeah, that's what it is. You can't call it the sadness bowl because it's like the one glimpse of hope in the KFC world. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The well, bowl still burns. I will. I have to. I have to go get ready and put my slippers on so I can sprint to the KFC. Right. Thank you. For thank you for watching God, tapes. Stay, stay thank you. Thank you for Next, tapes. Get ready for. Thank you. Thank you. Get ready for sinister tapes. Next, Next month time. we're gonna have no. a really, really bad night. It's sinister June. Hell yeah. All right. Bye. 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 Sinister tapes. Sinister videotapes. It's Evil Summer, baby. And we're, we're kicking it off next month. <laughs> At the end of next month. <laughs> In a month. Evil Taos. It's Evil Taos time. Thank you, Jam Man. Jam Man 04. Get ready for Evil Taos in a month. The the next VHS viewing lands on it's 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 the second last day of the month, the 29th of June. So get ready for that. That'll be in a month. In the meantime, I have some great news. Hi. There's there's a little something called in in line with 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 sinister. There's a little game coming out called the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and it has entered a technical test and I have procured a key so um, either tomorrow or Saturday I will be streaming the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game um, if you are a regular viewer watcher of this channel you know I love that series. I love I love horror movies. I love horror games. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre 1 is like one of my favorite movies ever. So this is very exciting. So I'm definitely I'm gonna stream it before the technical test ends. Um, if it ends on Monday, then I'll stream it on Sunday. But on the off chance that it ends on Sunday, I'm just I'm just gonna make sure that I can stream it before before it's over. Uh, so that'll be the next stream. Tune in for that. Uh, no exact time yet. You'll have to hop in the Discord or keep it on Twitter to know when that's happening. But it's going to be happening. I'm going to do it. So that's that's the plan for the next stream, and there will be many more to come. Thank you for watching VHS viewings. Enjoy your Thursday night, uh, and I'll see you. At the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Is there a Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yes. Let's let's li let's listen to that video. I wonder how the fuck I can. Fo oh, there it is. Easy. You just finished. Let's. Here's a little primer. Here's a little primer for the game. You just let's finished viewing the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre film on Netflix. And if you were clever, you stuck around until the end to see the Texas Chainsaw Massacre after credit sequence. Now your mind is racing, and you're asking yourself, what does it all mean? What does it all mean? Says the narrator, of all. For the majority of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre's 83-minute <laughs> runtime, it's not that deep. Leatherface wields a massive chainsaw and murders people with it. It's not that deep. ...is out of nowhere and snatches m while Leela cries from the approaching a lovely little home with you may see Leatherface walking down a dusty road with his chainsaw approaching a lovely little home with a windmill if you wait until the very end of the credits. Explaining the Texas Chainsaw Massacre post credit scene, Leatherface is on his way to a residence that would be familiar to loyal Texas Chainsaw fans. It's Leatherface's Listen up. house. This is going to be on the quiz next stream. 1,900 seconds farmhouse where the first Texas Chainsaw Massacre film, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, was shot. Leatherface, his brother, and their grandfather resided at the house in the original film. In the first film, Leatherface's brother is said to have been slain, while he and other members of Leatherface's family did appear in subsequent films. It's crucial to understand that the 2022 Texas Ching, and if you're new to this channel, subscribe. Wait, we need the other one. Where's the other one? There we go. Every monster, whether in nature or legend, has a backstory. Listen up. This is the most this is the most beautiful, succinct, amazing summary 
of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre you'll ever hear. Every monster, whether in nature or legend, has a backstory. These tales include vital lessons for humans about why they should not tamper with nature's secrets or things they don't fully comprehend. Humans, on the other hand, excavate nature's secret out of curiosity, ignorance, or greed, arousing sleeping spirits or monsters and sparking events that culminate in a massacre. The reappearance of Leatherface is likewise the product of human avarice and their stupid interference in the 2022 <laughs> film Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which causes a sleeping monster to emerge from the shadows and get retribution for everything he has lost. Dante, Ruth, Melody, and Leela, four all right, townies, well, here's also Here's the question. He here's the question everyone has. In Milhome, a few miles outside Austin, Texas, where the 1974 movie and the initial slaughter took place in the post credit sequence of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Even if society regards Leatherface as a monster, the act of returning to the roots implies that the individual in question wishes to sleep comfortably under a roof where no one disturbs his everlasting slumber. The monster is unlikely to return unless driven by an external source to take up his chainsaw and unleash his vengeance on them because they invited their own death by trespassing into the lion's den. But even if he does, I hope he receives the closure he deserves. Whether by death or some other way. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we really want we want Leatherface to receive closure. Let's let's hope for the best. You'll find out next stream if Leatherface gets closure or not. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for pulling up. I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye. We better get to class. Yeah.
guys. <laughs>